position as well. And I think that's what Fenerbahce is going to be looking for right now with the Callista and the Talia. Ooh, the game playmaking on these side lanes and pivot your playstyle. And I think that he's done a fine job for now. But while his early gank failed, Fallout's looking to do find some success in the top lane. Entry Fragger looking for his first kill as Vert there as well. The flash away, but Thorjan's going to get stunned. And this will be first blood for Team 1 in the top lane. Fallout. around here, Vert backs off a little bit. Thorjan will spot him out. There's the taunt, and once again, Fallout's just looking for the setup. Crash is on the top side. He'll be looking to try and get towards his top lane to save him, but the stun comes out once again. Crash with the belly bop knocks him back. Thorjan down to half as Vert puts down the Spirit's Refuge. Fenerbahce able to fight this one out as Crash came to the rescue for his top lane. And meanwhile, in the bottom lane, a root lands onto Absolute, and he has to use the heal and the barrier. The ignite ticking. Padam with the final shot gets the spear in the back, and now Redbird's trying to turn it around. He does get the help picks and will trade one for one in the bottom lane. Wow, action happening all across the board, but 4-1 style of play. And looks like Fenerbahce are trying to shut that down. Thornton's gonna go in, the knockback onto Vert as well. No flash for him and no way of escaping Crash and Thordren, who will be able to secure the kill. Two to two, Fenerbahce and one are even in the early game. So many ganks happening onto both of you. It looks like he's trying to steal away this blue buff. Misses the body slam, the knockback will come out. There is the unleashed power straight onto the base of Crash and he will get removed from the map by Team One. Good utilization of the Shen ultimate there. See Just someone out of position, they make the play, and now they're making the play for the Inferno. They secure it, but Padden is not done. The TPs are going to join this fight as they look for the root. Doldrin goes in onto Red, but he's used the Wild Growth, but he will be the first to fall. Team One just looking to run away. They're accepting. Likes to does he like to do? He's the pillar of the team, and he likes to get these ganks off. Flash straight into Crash. Bruce and knock back the seismic shove will spell his end. Fenerbahce get the kill. Now Fallen's going to try and protect his power a little bit as he shut down. But in this split push, in fact. They're going in with the face cool into the soul shackles. Vert flashes away, respect, but gets caught in the binding. Puts down the spirit's refuge. Padam will still get the stacks from this, though, as he looks to dive. The Shen underneath the tower. And 13 minutes in, Padam is all stepping up in this first game. It's exactly what we wanted to see from them. And Frozen is looking up towards the top side for a little bit more. Stand United is available for Vert as he comes up. Not even going to channel it yet as one are going to get dived underneath this tower. There we go. Absolute. Pops the barrier. Wild God used as well. The dive continues. Benabache trying to get what they can out of this fight. They take the tower first. The stun is going to land onto Absolute. Fall and dead. It's a double for Frozen. And one are just getting scattered to the winds. A great binding from Japan. Three kills down. Red button running away. But I'm not sure he's going to escape today. It's Benabache collapsed from all four sides and they play the early game well. They don't even need to get to the late game. They don't even need to get to team fights because Benabache are routing team one. Beautiful dive once again. Thordren looking to round out the fight with another kill onto Redbird. Everything going fantastically for the Turkish representatives. This is fantastic. To join fights when he needed to, and once again, he's going towards mid. It's Thaldrin and Frozen. It's the dynamic duo trying to catch out Brusa. Thaldrin will be able to lock him up with the cat, and he will get the kill. The pillar on which Fenerbahce stands once again helps Frozen in the mid lane. Look for the flank. They'll knock Thaldrin back, but already Absolute's taking the chunk. Redbird there as well. Here come the rest of Fenerbahce. Brusa off towards the side, trying to knock them back. The seismic shove does not connect, and F. Fenerbahce are just going to continue to roll this forward. And however, they are flanked. They get some damage onto Vert, who flashes away. The explosive cast helps them secure the kill. And now the Featherstorm has to come out from Absolute. He flashes. Bruce is still off. They don't want to commit to the Baron, though. They're still eyeing up those picks. Not quite a Weaver's Wall that locks in Team 1. Forland's going to jump across the wall and bring Thorgrim with him. And now he's caught in the wrong place as Redbird comes across to try and help his jungle. If they can take down Forland, Benabache can look for that Baron, but they're going for Redbird instead. Absolute pulled off towards the side as Thorgrim is that tank, is that shield that Benabache need when the going gets tough and when they're looking. Baron. With the Callista, with the Gragas, they have everything they could need to shut down that objective. 22 minutes in, they have an 11. What you want to see when you're trying to take an inhibitor, put the wall down and it opens up so much ground for you. Love the ultimate there from Frozen Zones. The entire lineup of Team 1 away from the objective. That will be the first inhibitor of the game going in favor of Fenerbahce. They also have the double mountain to add insult to injury. Now they've got their eyes on the rest of the map, but the Baron... In 1907, Fenerbahce just closing in on the win. Padden takes a scatter of the week to the base. Here comes the explosive cask as well. The stand united onto Team 1. But Fenerbahce 1907 are able to survive for the time being. The inhibitor still alive here for Team 1. If they can get the engage they want, perhaps they can start to come back into this game. It seems like a monumental task, a mammoth task for them. 
the Team One have come from behind many a time before. Burt locked out towards the side, the inhibitor is being pressured by Cadden and Japone. A good finding is going to connect, and now we'll see Thorgrim stepping up to the front. Already Redbird is just dead, and Fenerbahce are going to push forward further and further. This will be their second inhibitor. They can just go mid, or perhaps they'll even look to push in this next wave. Keep your eyes on the bottom lane too. There's a big minion wave stacking up. There's a flash from Thorgrim. And the seismic shove just deleted and demolished. Team one lose a man, and now Fenerbahce are going to look for the push. Burt jumps in, but there's just no damage at all from Team 1. 1907 Fenerbahce are looking to clean this up. It will be a clean ace for them as they take down Absolute. They're going for the Nexus Towers and they're going to be 1-0 up against Team 1. Very convincing game from 1907 Fenerbahce Esports. 18-4 is the kill score with a 15,000 gold lead to round things out. And if you're a Turkish fan, this is exactly what you want to see. Fenerbahce clean in the early game, clean in the mid game, and clean as they take down the Nexus to go 1-0 ahead. So clean, I can see my...